When it comes to China's Belt and Road Initiative, Pakistan stands out as the largest country for its projects so far. With investments from China totaling over 27 billion and counting. Starting from special economic zones in the south near Gwadar, it aims to industrialize large swaths of Pakistan, building logistical channels northwards to the Chinese city of Kashgar in Xinjiang. In return, the Chinese are planning to reduce their dependency on the South China Sea for much of their trade from the Middle East, cutting the travel time by about 15 days, or about 3,000 kilometers. And the backbone of the China-Pakistan economic corridor is this road, the Karakoram Highway. 4,700 meters above sea level, its construction was treacherous considering the terrain. Construction of some parts of the road actually began all the way back in 1959. Nearly 900 Pakistani and Chinese workers died building this strategic road. Many of them were buried here at the Chinese cemetery in Gilgit. Pakistanis today remember their sacrifices. With the Karakoram Highway, China and Pakistan remain connected all year round for trade, despite heavy snowfalls. Due to this all-weather friendship, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor has given hope to people like Majid. Not far from Gilgit is the Sauce Dry Port, the entry point into Pakistan from China. Just 100 kilometers from the Chinese border, this trading port is bustling with activity. I'm one of the importers who go to China or uh, send their people to China. They go to different cities, to Guangzhou, to Urumqi. They buy the consumer goods from there according to the volume of their own investment. Chinese containers basically bring it here. They offload all the goods here. Uh, people from the custom, of course, examine it. They calculate the duties. And then we clear our goods from here, from this port. We load them back in uh, Pakistani trucks and we head back to our destinations. Because of the Karakoram Highway development, goods from China that earlier took weeks can now reach Islamabad in less than a day. During the pandemic, Pakistan and China trade continued to set new records, with Pakistan's exports to China growing 34% in the last year. China is the second largest export destination for Pakistan, due in part to transport corridors built here as part of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. There are also plans to develop this highway into an economic corridor by laying optic fiber cable along its entire length, rail links, and oil and gas pipelines. <laughs> 